I mean, I'm still thinking about it now, and it's nearly three months ago, and there was the distinct possibility that if I had left it, I could, could have had some serious cancer problems. Oh, he's bowled him! Nothing wrong with that ball. 350 first class wickets to Michael Whitney. And that's the end of the little fella. Tendorka out bowled by Whitney by a lovely swinging Yorker. I'd never been to an ACA health day. For some reason that always fallen on a on a day when I wasn't in Sydney or I just couldn't make it. This year when I got the email, I thought, wow, at last, after all these years, I can go to the ACA free health checkup day. Just lock me in, you know, 5.30, caught to 6, 6 o'clock. Went and had it all done, was very happy, good results, bone density good, uh, cholesterol excellent, blood sugar's really good. And then of course the last one was the mole map test. Had a solid look over my body, but I had a, a dark mole here on my chest and one here as well and a couple of dark marks on my face, which I really thought I wanted checked out. So they did, they checked them out, and, and these ones actually took a photo, which I'd never had done. So I get the results back from that, and this one here on my right chest, they tell me I need to go and see someone immediately about it. So you can tell in people's voices that there might have been something wrong. through the right length, trying to hit down the ground. So Michael Whitney draws blood. Tremendous roar from the crowd, while a queen bowl. This goes back to the early 80s with me playing cricket against University of New South Wales. One of their players, Jimmy Dixon, who I got to know really well, married a doctor, Di Rebell, who's become a dermatologist. So I rang her up immediately. And I sort of, if I don't play against Jimmy Dixon in the early 80s, I never get to meet Dice. So the cricket connection was amazing through that. Got me straight in, went down, circled, it was about as big as that as well, about as big as that, circled it and then drew an eye around it. And I went, what are you drawing an eye on me chest for? She said, that's what I'm taking out. The pathology report comes back. It comes back to say that there's actually cancerous cells underneath the skin but only at 0.3 of a millimetre. If it's deeper than half a millimetre or one or two or three millimetres, this is very serious business and they could be looking at my lymph glands or other parts of my body. But the fact that we caught it then and it was only 0.3 of a mil, so I had to go down, they actually took more out, they sort of, she put a big sort of canoe shaped thing around the scar and then took that scar out and more out just to make sure. And then I went home after that and I gotta tell you, there was a fair bit of soul searching that went on sitting at home for a couple of nights. I realized I was actually watching some sport on the TV but not actually watching the TV, thinking about this, thinking about if I hadn't have made the health day, I would have left that until December this year after TV finishes. So a lot of soul searching went on and I mean, I'm still thinking about it now and it's nearly three months ago. And there was the distinct possibility that if I had left it, I could, could have had some serious cancer problems. You know, a lot of things conspired to get me there on that day. The universal timing of it all, the fact I'd never been before, the fact it was on a day where I had some time off from working for Channel 7 here in Sydney. All of those things, the fact that I'd played cricket against Jim Dixon in the early 80s and met his wife, who now is a leading dermatologist and sun cancer and skin cancer doctor in Australia. So the cricket played a really big part in in saving me and, and, and making sure everything was right, yeah. I mean, just the timing of this was amazing and if all of that timing is a lesson for me to tell this story, to say to people, go and get checked up, then that's what the whole story is about. <laughs>